up to now, what we've talked about is how to reduce the latency for acquiring the lock and the contention when the lock is released. So far, we've not talked about fairness. What do we mean by fairness? Well, if multiple people are waiting for the lock, should we not be giving the lock to the guy that made the lock request or tried to acquire the lock first? Unfortunately, in spin lock, there's no way to distinguish who came first because as soon as the lock is released, they're going to try and tr grab the lock. And it's uh, entirely up for grabs as to who may be the winner. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to look at a way by which we can, we can ensure fairness in the lock acquisition. Now, deli shops and uh, restaurants, busy ones that is, often use a ticketing system to ensure fairness for those who are waiting to get served. Uh, so for instance, in this example here, uh, let's say I walk into a deli shop and my ticket is 25 and I have noticed that uh, currently they are serving 16. So I know that I have to wait for a little bit of time and uh, you know, once my number comes up, I can get served. So this is actually, and if uh, I know that there are at least nine people ahead of me who need to be served before my turn comes up. And by similar uh, argument, if people come after me, I know that they're not gonna get served before me. That's the basic idea that we're gonna use in this ticket lock algorithm. The ticket lock algorithm is basically implementing what I described to you as to what happens in a deli shop. The lock data structure has two fields to it, a next ticket field and a now serving field. And the lock algorithm, in order to acquire a lock, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark my position. And the way I do that is I'm gonna get a ticket. Just like when I walk into a deli shop, I get a unique ticket. I get a unique ticket by doing a fetch and increment on the next ticket field of the lock data structure. And when I do this fetch and increment, I get a unique number, and this number is also advanced, exactly like how it would happen in a daily shop. And once I have my position marked as to when I can get my lock, I can then wait by procrastination. And what I'm doing here is pausing to see if I've won my uh, lock by an amount that is proportional to the difference between my ticket value and who is being served currently. And after this amount of delay, I'm gonna go and check if the now serving value equals my ticket value. And if it, if it is, then I'm done, I can return, otherwise I go back to looping. So basically, I'm looping, waiting for, waiting for my number to be up so that I can assume that I've got the lock and how am I going to get, get this information that, that my ticket is up for serving? That is going to be done by the current holder of the lock. He's going to come and, and release the lock. And when he releases the lock, he's going to increment this now serving value in the lock data structure. And that's how eventually the now serving will advance to be equal to my ticket. And I'll get the ticket and then I can... I can return from the acquire lock. Now this algorithm is good that it preserves fairness, but you notice that every time the lock is released, this now serving value that is in my local cache is gonna be updated by the cache coherence mechanism, and that's gonna cause uh, contention on the network. So on the one hand, fairness is achieved, but on the other hand, we've not really completely gotten rid of the contention that can happen on the network uh, when the lock is released.